Hey everyone, this is Mr. Ad Oil again, helping you fight your today for your better tomorrow. And in this video, we're going to continue the series on how to prepare for an interview, but specifically how to prefer, prepare for like a software developer interview. And we're going to talk about um, creating basically a template for yourself where you can use predictively like on every interview instance. All right, or maybe that was pretty confusing, but we're gonna basically prepare a cheat sheet for yourself when, whenever you go into the interview, you have this cheat sheet in front of you where you can kind of read off of it or when you're kind of feeling nervous or stuck, you can refer to it and then that can ground you and get you back and moving forward. That's what we're gonna try to do. The first thing that you wanna prepare in all, and this is applicable to all interviews that you're gonna come across is your elevator pitch and this could be one to two minutes long in this elevator pitch we're going to talk about all your past work relevant work history and you're going to basically list out all of your accomplishments and normally in your self pitch you want to eliminate all the negative things that you can say about yourself where you want to just focus on the positive things so here are a few things that you can kind of do to kind of present yourself in that positive light. First, you can talk about when you were doing that event, uh, that, that type of role. Then immediately you can start applying that STAR framework where you talk about the situation, the task, and just like actions and how you um, brought about results, right? I mean, that seems really long, but what you really want to do is just talk about an accomplishment and then kind of work backwards. Like let's say you were given a task or you had this accomplishment like i created an internship program and then the reason why i did that is because we were like strapped for capital because we were like a bootstrap startup and then we needed to hire people but we couldn't afford to hire like full-time employees so we so i brought up the idea of creating an internship program and then from that initiative i hired ford four to five like sales and marketing interns and an interim marketing director, something like that. So to recap, when you're writing your um, one to two minute pitch, you wanna write it down so that there's an opening statement saying that here, this is the company that I work for at this time. You don't have to talk about the duration. Then you directly start talking about what you've accomplished and then you can start with that first. Like I accomplished X and Y was the problem, and Z were the things that I did, and A was the results that I've accomplished. There are other questions that might surface that you wanna prepare for, right? Like they might ask you about like, what do you wanna do in the future? Or like, why are you interested in X role? And then you can um, basically write down a detailed or a ready response, and that could be part of your um, pitch also. Next, you might wanna prepare a technical know-how um, pitch. And then in this section, it will be comprised of all the technologies that you worked with and you're basically familiar with and proficient at. And here are the frameworks that I use when I try to present this pitch, right? First, I talk about what the technology is, what challenges does it solve, the benefits and the drawbacks. So for what it is, you wanna just keep it short. So like if we're talking about a technology like React, you can say it's a UI library. And then for challenges, you can say that React helps um, solve the problem of ha having a ton of code that's like unorganized. Whereas in React, you could uh, create components and then make them reusable, stuff like that. And in terms of benefits, you can say React, um, for most like developer teams, it's relatively easy to learn and use. And then it creates more structure for your UI versus having a really large, like if you were using like pure JavaScript or like jQuery, like the documents would just be really long and really unorganized. In terms of drawbacks, you can talk about like, I mean, you can say that React is in a complete framework, meaning that you have to like, leverage third-party libraries for like routing, for like state management. I mean, React has that, but Redux is probably better and other things. 
So when you pitch your um, technology know-how in this type of format where you briefly talk about what it is, the challenges that it's intended to solve and the benefits of using it and the drawbacks, it makes you sound really complete in your knowledge and understanding of that technology, even though you might not really be that much of, a, of an expert. And lastly, you also want to have a section, a cheat sheet for yourself that basically has like a chart of the data structures and algorithms and their um, runtime complexity, space and time. It's going to be hard to like memorize them, you know, by heart if you're, especially if you're like a rookie and especially like when you're in an interview setting and they might be asking these like, you know, trivial questions that pop up and then at the moment you don't really know how to answer it. So when that happens, like let's say it was just like a phone interview and you have this like cheat sheet in front of you, you can just do a, a command F or just do a, a fine on the Google Doc and then you can find that specific um, data structure and then you can just read off um, the benefits of that. So for the most part, you wanna do some research and understand these data structures, right? You wanna understand arrays, objects, graphs, linked lists, um, and trees, and then list out um, their pros and cons when it comes to time and space complexity. So basically, when you do all this and prepare a template for yourself on commonly asked questions, especially the, the one to two minute elevator pitch, that's probably gonna be the most useful. And then the next one will be the technology know-how pitch, right? When it comes to the time complexity um, and data structures and algorithms, like this is rarely asked on an interview, but then you still want to prepare that just in case. And then it's also good practice for you to understand um, the benefits and trade-offs of um, each specific data structure. Yeah, so that's all I have for this video. A quick recap, when you have this cheat sheet of commonly used pitches, this will just empower you and give you, um, I guess, more freedom when you're interviewing and then you'll be more relaxed and more confident to um, answer the interviewer's question right off the bat versus um, kind of scrambling in the moment and trying to find the right answer.